comedian Major Hype and his estranged wife, fiance, who knows at this point, are calling it quits, rightfully so. So there's some major accusations against Major Hype being made by his ex. Greetings, 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 royal family. Thanks for clicking on the video and welcome back. So look at the lovely couple, don't they? Don't they look all happy in this photo? Well, doesn't seem like they are happy. There's trouble in paradise. So bits of this uh, uh, article, I'm going to be reading from urbanislands.com. So I don't know if you guys have been keeping up with this situation, but over the weekend, it was a mess. There were Instagram videos made, responses made, people giving their two cents all went down on social media. So in a lengthy Instagram post, the wife, they're saying wife here, but they never admitted to offici like officially getting married. So I'm going to say his fiance. Anyway, in a lengthy Instagram post, uh, the former fiance of comedian Major Hype alleges that she has been battered and abused by the comedian during their relationship. Now, in her hashtag Women Wednesday chat with her fans, she laid bare the shocking abuse allegations in an emo in a emotional speech, getting tongue-tied. This is absolutely bananas. Um, I know you can't put, put anything past anybody. You know, nothing really surprises me. But this was real intense because it, there was already so much going on on social media over the weekend. And then throw this in there. It's like... 2020 gives zero Fs, man. So major hype last week, he suffered a mild heart attack and he was hospitalized. He later revealed that the cause of his heart attack was because he has been stressing over quote unquote certain things. Now it seems that the problems within his relationship might have been affecting the comedian. So major hypes ex, whose name is Letitia, but everyone knows her as Kirby, um, a Brooklyn resident, she took to her Instagram to apologize to her friends and family who she isolated herself from because she says that she was unrecognizable after Major Hype put his hands on her. I'm sorry, I'm just, it's a lot. This is so wild. Did you guys hear about this? Did you see any of these Instagram videos? So anyway, she is alleging that she was unrecognizable. She didn't want her family to see her that way, basically. She's accusing Major Hype of putting hands on her. And she said that that's the reason why she could not answer her FaceTime calls because she hid what was going on in their relationship. And, you know, it's been going on for years, she alleges, and she did not want her family to know. So in the video, she says, I want to apologize to my mother, my son, my sister, to my niece, to my friends. I detached myself from the people that love me the most for a long time. I owe you guys the biggest apology. What I've been going through, the average person doesn't go through that in a whole lifetime. I've been keeping it a secret for a long time. Hiding abuse is a full-time job. You have to detach yourself from your loved ones so they don't know. I did that for a long time. This is what she said in her video. She says that she's had enough. She said, I protected someone that abused me for a long time, but tonight is my healing, me taking my power back and me no longer protecting the person that has been abusing me. Now, it's unclear how long the um, relationship lasted. It was either two or three years. Uh, Major Hype did do a response to these allegations on his Instagram page. It is still up. It's an hour and some change long. I'm definitely not going to play the whole thing. I cannot. So if you care, you can go over there and, and watch it. He said this is going to be the only and final time that he will be addressing all of this that's going on. And man, oh man, did he address some things. Yikes. Anyway, so he said in his video that they have been going together off and on for about two years or so. Um <sighs> But it just seems like their relationship was just filled with problems from the beginning. If you listen to Major Hype's version of things, he just basically said that from the time that they met, there was issues, you know, family issues, family getting involved. Now, these are his words, not mine. I'm paraphrasing. Again, go on his Instagram page and you can take a listen for yourself. <clears throat> so 
He got on social media, like I said, an hour long video. And he pretty much, I guess, defended himself. I, I don't know what you want to call that. Um, it's unknown if the, the there's a child involved. I know he has kids. She has a son. I don't know. Do they have children together? Do you guys know? I wasn't really clear on that. I know that uh, months ago, or maybe it was last year, that there was a picture that she posted, and he posted it on his Instagram, that she was holding her stomach, so it appeared that she was pregnant. So I, I don't know if they have a child together. So she is saying that, you know, this hands-on situation went on for a long period of time. And, you know, she went back several times in spite of him being hands-on with her. She says she's been through a whole lot of things, you know, the manipulation and everything stops now. She says that she, since she's ended the relationship, fans of major hype have been bashing, slandering, and inboxing her with allegations that she was only with major because of his money. So she's just like, she doesn't care. You know, um, she says she doesn't, if leaving because she doesn't like hands being put on her means that she doesn't love him. Then she said that she will leave because she loves herself more. So she outlined the gravity of the abuse she suffered, which included physical, emotional, psychological, all of those things she is accusing the comedian of putting her through. So she said, imagine having to hide your bruises and you're being battered from your family. Imagine after being abused and assaulted, you have to console the person who hurt you because now they're distraught. They want to harm themselves. So now you don't have the chance to heal. You don't have the chance to be upset. Imagine after going through all those things, you still have to have relations, sex. You're still expected to be delightful, like there's nothing wrong with you and your face is unrecognizable. So she started to become emotional and she disclosed that um, she received no support from like close friends who knew about the situation. She just basically said that imagine people who are in your circle know what's going on. And the first question that they ask is, what did you do? So she started breaking down as um, she was talking about this particular situation. She said that she didn't deserve to be treated like that. And the occasions of Major being hands-on, allegedly, were not few uh, and far, but very often. So she also refused claims that she cheated during the relationship. Over the weekend, Major took to his social media to rant and basically call out uh, a soca artist who he said that his ex cheated with. And then, you know, he got a little bit heated. He showed pictures. He was showing text messages between his ex and other men. You know, there were some pictures of things on there, male things, male members, if you know what I mean. I was totally floored, you know. Um, she was, she's basically adamant that, you know, she did not cheat on him. Um, she said that she's done. She's done with him being controlling. She made some really strong accusations, really, really, really strong accusations. So I don't know. She said she never thought that she would be in this, you know, in this position, but after years of living a lie, she said that she's on a healing journey and she wants to mend things um, with her family and, and her friends. Now, Major Hype's video, he basically talked about how they met. Um, she was a police officer in Texas and she was supposed to relocate to Atlanta where he resides and she was supposed to look for, to get a transfer, um, in Atlanta. That didn't happen. Again, they were together for two years off and on. She lived with him. He said that he took care of her, basically took care of her son. He took care of, of course, himself and his kids. Now, I, I don't want to go into too much what uh, other things he was talking about, but he started taking us down memory lane of how he grew up, what he grew up seeing, things that happened to him that he confided. Um, he basically told, you know, his, his ex and she threw in his face and tried to humiliate him. This is his point of view. Now, listen, I feel like he chose to speak up. That's his choice. So he has a right to tell the story the way he does. Um, he said that he never cheated on her, but then there was cheating uh, accusations and 
the phone. She accused him of taking her phone and going through her her phone. He, he kind of in a roundabout way admitted that. He had the phone in his hand throughout his video. Um, there were Bible verses read. There were pictures shown, uh, text messages shown, people's phone numbers being leaked, people's pictures being leaked. And I guess his angle is that he is proving his innocence. I, I don't know. If you guys saw the Instagram video, drop down in the comments and let me know. If you haven't, like I said, comedian Major Hype and his ex are no more. She is making some strong allegations. And he recently did a, a video on his Instagram, a live about an hour and some change disputing these claims and basically defending himself. In my opinion, here's what I think. I think the two of them need to separate and remain separated. There are children involved. He has children. She has a son that were witness to some of this toxicity. Um, I think they are old enough to know better. I think the two of them should seek help individually and move on with their lives. Now that this has gone public, there's, there's people being hands-on with one another. It's done. It's done. It's done. That's my opinion. People are going to do whatever they want to do. She wants to go back. He wants to go back. That is totally their choice. I just care about the little children, okay? Subjecting them to this type of foolishness is unnecessary and it's unacceptable. So you guys let me know what you think. Like I said, if you saw her video and if you saw his video, if not, go check them out all over social media. So once again, major hype. And his ex are no more. Allegations are being thrown left and right. It's sad. And the people that I feel sorry for the most, as always, are the defenseless children in this situation. I hope the two of them make better decisions. I don't know who to believe. I was, I was just blown away by the accusations and then blown further away after watching Major Hype's IG live. So that's all I got and got no more. Definitely would love to hear what you think. Maybe some of you know more about the story because there were a lot of people talking out and giving their two cents. A lot of soca artists, um, a lot of Caribbean entertainers were kind of sharing their thoughts. So it was just a lot going on all weekend. So drop down in the comments. Let me know what you think. I'm signing off. And as always, until next time, folks, peace.